What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm here on Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I'm going to demonstrate some cheat codes that are in the game. But a lot of people don't know that if you use cheat codes on your save, it will make you ineligible for some achievements, as well as at the end of the mission, it will not track your time because you've already used cheats in that save. Now, to counteract this, if you do want to use cheats, all you gotta do is go and save it in your bed. Now, after you save in your bed, just lay back down in the bed and create another save file. Now, what this will do, will create save 1 and save 2 of the same playthrough. Except, if you do cheats, then load up save 2, and you'll be able to play with cheats without ruining your original game save on save 1. And when you do save it again on save 1, Make sure you always overwrite save 2 with the same save 1, that way you can keep your progress through and you can still use cheats as well as play through the game and still get all your achievements and credits for doing the game legitimately. So, now we're going to get into the cheat codes which are some pretty standard cheat codes first of all. We have the raised wanted level and the lower wanted level. Now down below in the description I am going to put two links that will take you to the PS3 version of these codes and the Xbox 360 version of these codes. I'm just demonstrating what these cheats do because I was going to put little uh, icons up on the screen that show you but the more I thought about it it seemed like more people would rather just have a list of the cheat codes than come back to my video and click it a million times. Even though that would help me out with views, I still would rather have you guys be helped out instead of me getting a bunch of views. Now, this cheat code is called Fast Run, and it, it's exactly what you think it is. It allows you to run really, really fast, like almost car speed fast. It is amazing. Now, this I actually like to combine with the next cheat code, which is called Explosive Melee Attacks. And it's exactly what you think. I have a lot of Borderlands fans out there, and you guys know Brick. Brick is a punching type of guy, and sometimes he has a little bit of explosives on his oh fist. God. And that's exactly what this do. Jesus when man. you punch somebody, they will explode. <laughs> Look at that. She just took a heavy bolo to the grill that was packed with the punch of some motherfucking C4. So we're gonna run around the corner and we're just gonna punch a few more people just because it's absolutely hilarious. And with the fast runner, it allows you to catch up to people and just completely obliterate them with amazing bolos from hell. So we're gonna move on to the next one, which is probably gonna be a very popular cheat code for a lot of people. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that face plant. The uh, actual code that you put in does cause you to face plant sometimes. So watch out for that and the fact that sometimes if you do have a gun, putting in these cheat codes will shoot your motherfucking gun sometimes. But this is drunk mode. It allows you to walk around town drunk as fuck. So we walked up to a cop car and I'm like, what's going on? Just throwing random punches at the back of cars and everything. And the cop was like, hey! You're not allowed to throw random punches at people, but you're going to see when I get in this, it is absolutely atrocious trying to drive drunk. And I don't recommend anybody out there go and try to drive drunk in real life because that is a very scary thing to have to uh, fucking deal with. The fact that somebody out there might be drunk and they might fuck you up and run into you just like this motherfucker. So <laughs> we're going to move on though and the next cheat code is gonna be the weather cycle. Now, there's only one code for the weather cycle, but if you keep putting it in, it will give you random weather events, and it goes all the way from like smoggy to clear weather, overcast, there's even some rain, and you can absolutely put it on snow. Snow in California. Could you imagine it? Like seeing snow in California? I used to live in California for like four years, and you barely saw any motherfucking rain. So to see a little bit of snow here actually seems pretty cool. Not only that, but those of you guys out there that do make machinimas and live action uh, gameplay videos from Grand Theft Auto, this will help you out a little bit in setting the scene that you want with the uh, you know temperature that you want on the outside. You see the snow? Look at the snow. That looks absolutely fucking crazy. So uh, the next cheat code is actually one that a lot of Need for Speed fans will probably love. It is called Slidey Cars. Now you know what Slidey Cars is going to do. 
it's going to allow every car in the game to drift like it's a pro drift car. We're getting into a little front wheel drive, what looks to be maybe a Subaru or a Honda Accord style uh, station wagon. But you take a look at that. This thing is absolutely just fucking sliding around like a bus. This is a really fun cheat code to mess with, especially if you get a motorcycle. It is absolutely fucking hilarious. So uh, after we go down here, we're going to pull the e-brake, do a nice big uh, 180 here, and pop open that goddamn fucking fire hydrant. I don't know why I said pop open. <laughs> pop open! But uh, this one right here is slow motion. This is another one where there's only one code, but you can put it in to change the level, and you can go all the way up to slow motion 3. Now once again, you machinima guys out there, or you montage makers, if you can stand to play in slow motion, I think it's absolutely hilarious. I love playing in slow motion, especially like at the end of this clip, you're going to see it. I'm going to punch a dude, and while he's falling, you're just going to see the hat in midair, and it's just going to tumble off his head as you go like, brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
on some of the uh, PS3 codes. I know you PS3 guys are going to cringe at that. I know, I know. Trust me. Trust me. As as a uh, you know, owner of all different systems, I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. However, I do not like playing on PSN online just because majority of the PSN players are in Europe and I usually get a really shitty connection to them even though I have a really good connection. But that's it for the cheat codes right here. I pretty much showed you guys everything that there is. I didn't put the icons on the screen because I felt instead of getting you guys to come back here and milking you for views by watching the screen for these icons, I'd rather just put them down there. That way you can save the link, you can save it onto your computer, and you can go and get these cheat codes at any time you wish. And you can play, because a lot of people love playing Grand Theft Auto with the cheat codes. And like I said, you can play with the cheat codes without ruining your save. All you have to do is start save one, and then save it as save two, and then load save two whenever you want to do cheats, and play on save one legitimately. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Jay, more than Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it, because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Now go in the description, click the goddamn links, save the goddamn cheat codes, Write them down. Put them on your cat. I don't give a fuck what you do with them, but have fun with them. Because that's all this is about, is gamers having fun with other gamers. And helping other gamers have fun with other motherfucking gamers. So like I said, my name is Jay Morton After Kill. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later. Can you believe this shit? My fucking luck. I spawn a stunt plane in the middle of the street. And while that's happening, some asshole's having a shootout with the cops over there, which causes the traffic to go fucking berserk right next to my stunt plane and causes this asshole to hit the back of my plane, catch me on fire, and I die. Fuck! <laughs>